In this tutorial, I will explain the maximum marginal relevance and its use in information retrieval. To understand the maximum marginal relevance, we will first go through a simple example. Suppose we have query Q and set of documents like D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 and so on. Now the task is to extract or rank, present the ranked list of the documents with respect to the given query Q. Then we can apply some ranking mechanism like uh, cosine similarity or variance of page rank like uh, personalized page rank or page rank with prior to rank these documents with respect to the query. Now suppose our ranking system gives the ranks like this. with respect to the query Q. R1 is the highest rank, R2 is second highest rank, R3 is the third highest rank, R4 is the fourth and R5 is the fifth highest rank of the documents with respect to the given query Q. Now the task is to retrieve top three documents for the given query Q. Till now the situation looks very simple but the problem will occur if document D1 and D2 shows a very heavy information overlap, D2, D3 start showing heavy information overlap or D1 or D3 shows very high information overlap. In this case, our information retrieval system will be highly inefficient. To solve this problem, we use maximum marginal relevance based technique. To understand this maximum marginal relevance technique, First of all, we go through this threshold delta. This is actually its value can be either 0 or 1. We can take any value between 0 and 1. In general case, if we take the sorry value of lambda as a 0, then it will show the maximum diversity in ranking. Now, what are the meaning of these signs? So, first of all, I will explain S. S is the subset of documents in R which are already selected and R by S is the set of unselected documents in R. But what is R? Actually R is the information retrieval select system which ranks these documents and presents the rank, rank list of the documents retrieved by the information retrieval system. Here the this ranking or information retrieval system may use cosine similarity or variance of page rank or any other ranking system. So now based on that all rankings are prepared. SIM1 and SIM2 used here are just similarity measures. You can use any similarity measures like Jacquard, Cosine similarity or any other similarity measures. Now Q. Q represents our query. Now what is DI and DJ? So DJ is a member of S. We will ex calculate this for all DJ which are member of S means subset of documents in R which are already selected and DI member of R by S means 
all the new documents which are not selected or contains in the list of non selected documents so how this calculation work suppose we represent s as list 1 and as list 2 so in the starting case all documents d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 with ranks r1 will be in this list our query will be like this so in this case now suppose we select the highest rank document d1 and from this list represent it as di and then calculate the cosine similarity between d1 and query q and here actually the list were is empty so this value will be zero so based on that if it is passes some threshold value then we put document d1 in this list and we'll remove it from here on the next selection we will take document d2 and again here we will calculate the cosine similarity between d2 and query and in this case we will calculate the here our di is d2 and dj will be the elements of list 1 which is d1 and then calculate the similarity and take the difference if in this if suppose uh, list 1 contains multiple elements then we'll take the maximum of maximum similarity score and then the outcome of this equation will give the maximum marginal relevance score actually the higher mmr means the considered item or considered document is both relevant to the given query q and it contains minimal similarity with respect to the previously selected items we can use this mmr based technique for document summarization question answering diversity based ranking now i will use this uh, maximum marginal relevance for document summarization here in instead of the documents we will use sentences suppose we have documents d1 d2 and d3 and the task is multi document summarization so one of the method will be to merge all the sentences append the sentences of document d2 to the sentences of document d1 and then the sentences of document d3 to the combined appended documents which contain sentences from document d1 and d2 like this now suppose the title or common topics of the document is given then we will consider the titles and common topics 
as a query element and then we can easily calculate the maximum marginal relevance score before going to the demonstration we will first explain a simple example we copied this news to our input file these are the copied news and after that we used a java program here in the case of similarity we used the cosine similarity value and uh, in case of uh, ranking we used page rank based technique so these are our implementations for page rank we used uh, java universal network graph library for entire implementation and uh, stanford core and lp package for all document preprocessing tasks so when i run this package run this system for the file that i discussed here in this file it will give the output and the output will contain two different types of ranked list of sentences the first ranking will be based on only for page rank and second ranking will be based on page rank and maximum marginal relevance so now we will see the system contains total 13 sentences now we can see the output this is the page rank based ranking so you can see that this is the highest rank page this is the highest rank sentences based on the page rank this is second highest rank sentence based on the page rank but uh, if you consider top 4 5 sentences then you will find that there are lot of information overlap in the simple traditional ranking but if you consider this uh, mmr based ranking then you can find that some highest page rank based sentences for example may contains one more thing that uh, i need to clear that here we have taken the threshold value 0.7 so in top top ranked uh, sentences after applying maximum marginal relevance you can see less information repetition with respect to simple page rank scheme suppose you have suppose you are uh, working on multiple document summarization where documents may contains sentences related to same topics then this scheme will be more useful you can also use the same maximum marginal relevance based technique for automatic question answering where you can consider the question as a query part and answer sentences you can use answer sentences in place of documents and then you can select some ranked list of sentences from the answer generally it is useful in the case of question answering related blogging sites like stack overflow yahoo answers etc then you can find the most relevant or answer summary from such uh, social networking answer sites you can find the code for the entire system at our website 